السلام علیکم السلام علیکم السلام علیکم میں ہیو یور اٹینشن پلیز وائل یو انجوائے یور ڈنر یور میل ور گن ہیو اے بریف پریزنٹیشن فار یو سو Today we are joined by a number of guests, our neighbors, our friends, and on behalf of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community Philadelphia, I would like to wholeheartedly welcome you to Masjid Batul Afiyat. Our first presenter is a young member of the community. Uh, he is currently enrolled in high school. He will be presenting a brief intro to the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. I would like to welcome Zubair Ubadullah to the stage. I would like to personally welcome all guests with Assalamu Alaikum. May peace be unto you. I will be giving I will be giving a brief introduction to our community, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. The Ahmadiyya movement in Islam is a dena denomination within Islam founded by Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, peace be upon him, of Qadian in 1889. He claimed under divine revelation that he was the fulfillment of numerous prophecies by all major religions of the world of the coming of a reformer in the latter days. It was foretold by the founder of Islam, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, that in the latter days, when moral and spiritual values would be in decline, a Messiah would appear to revive Islam, reform Muslims, and unite mankind under the banner of global peace. He would present religions in their original forms with their true teachings and would bring people toward God Almighty, their Creator. Ahmad claimed that he was the Messiah, the metaphorical second coming of Jesus. During a time of religious turmoil, when Islam was most vulnerable, Ahmad, the promised Messiah, stepped into the breach to revive the faith. He wrote hundreds of books and pamphlets defending the beautiful religion and invited the whole world to accept the true Islam. Since Ahmad's demise in 1908, the community has enjoyed leadership under Khilafat, successive worldwide spiritual leadership. The current Khalifa, the Khalifa of Islam, Hazrat Mirza Masrur Ahmad, is the fifth successor and resides in England. He continues the mission of Ahmad, and guides us in spiritual and worldwide endeavors, including humanitarian work and the propagation of the message of the true Islam around the world. He works tirelessly toward the achievement of world peace by traveling around the world and meeting with influential leaders of the world and call them towards the establishment of justice in every sphere of life for the achievement of peace at all levels. Our community is established in 212 countries with membership exceeding tens of millions. We have translated the Holy Quran in over 70 languages, built thousands of mosques, hundreds of schools and hospitals worldwide. We are involved in offering available or free medical care, disaster relief, engineering and architectural and social services among many to the humanity to humanity across the globe. through our various volunteer-based charities like Humanity First International. In the United States alone, we have 72 chapters. We work to spread our community's motto of love for all, hatred for none, and erase misconceptions of Islam while inviting people to join us. True Islam wholly rejects all forms of terrorism, believes in non-violent non jihad of the self and of the pen. believes in the equality, education, and empowerment of women, advocates freedom of conscience, religion, and speech, advocates for the separation of mosque and state, believes in the loyalty to your country of residence. True Islam encompasses the universal declaration of human life, believes in all verses of the Holy Quran, and forbids lying, believes in recognizes that no religion can monopolize salvation, 
believes in the need for unified Muslim leadership and rejects the concept of a bloody Messiah. This mosque, Bat al-Afiyat, or House of Security, was inaugurated in October of 2013 by His Holiness Himself. We locally help the community and invite people to come and learn about Islam. I pray that all of you leave here today with a deeper and better understanding of Islam and the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. Thank you. Now I, I invite our special guest, our Captain Rodriguez. He has been such a great person during our inauguration, helped, helped the Jamaat out over here for the security and taking off taking care of our location right here. I'm personally thankful to him for that special. Now I request him if he can speak for a few minutes and share his thoughts with us. Over here. Good evening. First, I'd like to thank you for inviting us here to break fast with you on this important holiday or this important holy time for you. Um, I'll cut right to the chase. Recently, we had an incident in one of our uh, Muslim communities with uh, an unfortunate video that was out there. Um, we know, or most of us know, that Islam is not a monolith. Um, and you shouldn't be generalized by the acts of a few or an unfortunate incident that came about. So as police officers, or as representative of the city of Philadelphia, I would like to say that, you know, we stand here in support of you and those who uh, practice Islam. Um, it's unfortunate, like I said, and the backlash that many in the Muslim community have felt um, because many in this nation tend to generalize. Um, and like I said, uh, uh, we, we the, police off, the police department will support everybody, every religion, every walk of faith, um, especially those that practice peacefully. So, you know, I don't have nothing else, I'm sorry. I apologize, he just hit me to, right now with, uh, to speak. So does anybody have any questions? No? Okay, enjoy your food, thank you. Thank you very much, Captain, for coming to Next, I would like to uh, invite our good friend, Councilman O, to address us. I think you're better off holding it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Unlike the police captain, I don't have to take it out because I'm so tall. It's just about right here. Uh, listen, I am so uh, appreciative of the invitation to uh, join with you this uh, holy uh, month and uh, to uh, participate with, uh, you know, your your uh, dinner tonight. This is my second time visiting. I am a councilman at large, which means I represent the whole city. So if there's anything I can do to be helpful in any circumstances, uh, please uh, let me know. I'm going to ask uh, Dan Oliver from my office to stand up. A lot of times, if you want to reach out to Daniel, you could catch him at my office. Um, and uh, if you need a card, you could just Google me, David O O H. Philadelphia, you know, City Hall, City Council, and uh, certainly through your leaders. I had a wonderful time talking with the president here. Uh, you can reach out to me if there's anything I could do to be of service to you. Thank you very much. Okay, Imam Saab, you want to come or uh, no? Okay, now we, we can keep on enjoying your meal in a few minutes later. With the three panel will come here, and if anybody have any question, then then we will entertain the question. Enjoy your meal now. <laughs>